all right y'all quick little video here today the sun is conjuncting pluto and capricorn um this is the last time that those that the sun will conjunct pluto and capricorn um for another like 200 something years until pluto goes recycles back all the way to capricorn again because as y'all already know 2024 we are ushering in the official start of the age of aquarius as pluto will move forward and not turn back after 2024 is over and it will continue into the age of aquarius aka pluto going deeper into aquarius itself duh but anyway so now that the sun is conjunct in pluto and capricorn um and this is the last time in 2024 until a whole another 200 whatever the fuck how many years this is gonna be the final transformation of discipline to yourself to reserve energy better and it's all gonna be for the sake of you being able to transform yourself further into the age of aquarius as we network and transform the collective together right but before we can even do that we need one last final transformation of discipline to reserve energy better so that way we're not getting lost into outdated energies that should have been evolved out of or been outgrown <laughs> and we set new cardinal earth element restrictions and limitations on these things and when the sun conjuncts Pluto, it's kind of like we have no choice but to play out that transformation. We have no choice but to actually act it out. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that's what happens when the sun conjuncts Pluto. We have no choice but to actually apply the transformation. Um, and it becomes very potent when we get on the actual degree as we are right now today. So... We are all setting new cardinal earth element restrictions. Um, and these things are all being applied and acted on. So if so, pretty much to, to summarize it all up real quick, you will feel a lot worse than ever before if you go over your certain threshold that you set for yourself. If you step out of lines or out of boundaries. If you're a low octave spirit, you'll feel more worse than ever before whenever you indulge into your bad habits that you know you're supposed to outgrow right now. If you have certain thoughts and feelings that you know is not that you don't even identify with and it ain't really your thoughts and feelings, but yet you always fall back into these these frequencies and vibrations. Now is going to feel you're going to feel even more guilty if you feel some some sort of outdated animalistic way. You're going to feel even more bad about yourself if you hold um, envy and jealousy to others. If you're that type of spirit or if you don't feel too good about yourself or, or, or if you keep visiting the past, a past experience that fucked you up, all these things. If you don't set certain restrictions and limitations on all these things every time you go over that threshold of whatever the limit was set every time you go beyond that aka you get deeper and deeper in thought of trains of thought that you know better that you shouldn't even that ain't even gonna do nothing but flunk you out and confuse you anyway and put you in a low vibration and then you will start to feel bad about yourself for even thinking certain type of ways if you are fighting a lot of demons if you're a low octave ass spirit and you're not even spiritually inclined or aware of what's going on right now because like i told you on previous videos humanity's um gr collective growth is evolving over time but it's also de-evolving at the same time due to the mentally ill system that was created by a childish shadow government right that don't know how to be real leaders and shit like that because they're still lost in their lower animalistic natures and insecurities and shit like that so since we got a a, a mentally ill society people are gonna continue the transits are going to affect everybody regardless whether you aware of these things or not if you're aware of these things and you ride the transits and the energies in the in the macro or in the collective then it will play out as you having a better aura a better state of being a, a, a better um atmosphere as uriel would say a better energy um so and then this will play out as as within so without whatever type shit as above so below however the fuck you want to word it and then you will actually be a high octave spirit 
that is actually keeping up with the transits and taking the high octave natures of whatever the transits have to offer at the moment right so sun conjunct pluto and capricorn if you're a high octave spirit um pretty much you're gonna f figure out ways on how you could reserve energy better so you can be more disciplined and focused on what actually matters and what is more uh relevant when it comes to earth element type shit or being practical or, or organizing yourself in this reality things that actually show results things that work keyword work is like art is our earth type shit so um if you're gonna let outdated thoughts and feelings flunk you out then oh shit my bad y'all somebody was calling me if you're gonna let outdated thoughts and feelings flunk you out then that's obviously gonna affect your productivity right and how much you can and how how much you can uh maximize your potential of getting shit done for yourself right on your path and your purpose remember mars is exhausted in capricorn it's all about stamina and long-term saturn to get long-term goals accomplished mars exhausted exhausted in um can't in uh no capricorn exhausted in mars um in capricorn ruling saturn and remember pluto is co-ruled by scorpio so we're going through a deep vibrational transformation of how we're gonna direct and conduct our saturn energy and our discipline energies um and whatever your aura is is supposed to become more serious and more disciplined and more structured now i'm not saying that we're gonna that we have to go overboard with that energy no we're just taking whatever we got to take from the saturn energy and apply it to ourselves right to make ourselves better overall in the long run as we continue to evolve because the transits are going to continue regardless we about to head into the age of aquarius so we about to transform form and change more moving forward when it comes to how we network and, and what we want to associate with you feel me and shit like that who we want to build with since we already went through the 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 age of of a of capricorn i guess you could call it where everything changed and to the point where we're at the end of of the pluto and cap and notice how there's no such thing as an overly famous person anymore anybody could get popping off the internet off anything stupid everybody you know it's it's, it's like it's almost as if the the masonic design matrix um 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 identity uh, and status of what fame is or aka having a big status all these things are like dying out or if they're not dying out it's being redirected and transformed as this as the ending of this capricorn season dies and 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 goes and gets put to death and then we rebirth the start of the transformation of aquarius type energies right it's deep shit so pretty much what i'm trying to say is all the shit whatever our status is right now and whatever kind of legacy we want to leave behind this is what's gonna determine how shit plays out moving forward in the future how the collective comes together and how people find other people that are like-minded individuals aquarius type shit fixed air amongst each other to see who we resonate with more now because it's, no, it's no longer about like oh getting clout and being at the top of the shadow government world and, and the gatekeepers that allow that to be it's no longer about that now it's more about who can i actually associate with remember aquarius is opposite to leo opposite to the star shout out um seven legend from the from the lot from the uh open panel live stream she brought up a great point about leo opposing aquarius and how we're gonna not we're, we don't, we're not gonna want to pay attention to shit if it don't got anything to do with growing the collective and society as a whole aquarius type shit and uranus type shit high octave natures at least you feel me so if you're trying to clout chase and just get people's attention and their and their spiritual currency their attention what they pay attention to to pay attention to you it better not be about no egotistical narcissistic bullshit because pluto is not in leo right now it's an aquarius <laughs> you know what i'm saying <laughs> type shit <laughs> so that's how it's gonna play out um so yeah 
This will be the last Sun conjunct Pluto for another 200 something years. Uh, this transformation is meant to help you become more disciplined so you can better associate yourself and your status and your individuality in the age of Aquarius with the right like-minded people to build build with so make sure whatever purpose or path you're setting for yourself long term all 10th house capricorn type shit whatever you're building your foundation to be that's going to be your organization and your business make sure you better you better stick with that shit because as pluto gets deeper into aquarius it's going to be more about whatever that is associating that with other spirits that are doing the same thing and, and when we just all build together this is the masculine of saturn before it's the feminine the capricorn is the feminine of saturn we're pretty much going through the winter transit of pluto so a lot of shit is being put to death so um the feminine the the, the yin of of saturn would be capricorn so the system itself went through a drastic change right now the ma we're, now we're going into the masculine part. How are we going to relate and communicate about what we think about this current system and foundation we have? Because remember, Aquarius is a thinker, a uh, fixed air. So even though the foundation was set and it's a flawed foundation, if humans communicate well enough and, and if we all use our own free thinking minds as individuals without getting lost in indoctrination and we become true, unique individuals with our own mind we will be able to tweak the current system and foundation to be better for humanity as a whole and in evolving those higher natures of of human utopia all possibilities type shit now do i think that's gonna happen ha <laughs> shit i don't think so but it's worth a fucking try right i mean that's what we have to do the lower octave end, like I told y'all in other Aqu Age of Aquarius videos, is, you know, dystopia type shit, shadow government wanting to control everything, 1984 George Orwell type bullshit, them wanting to monitor everything, complete dystopian control of everything with, th with their technology and shit, Aquarius type shit, instead of using it in more high octave ways that could help the spirit and the collective as a whole. But we have to be wise enough and aware enough to speak on these things and then not only that but come together and form some sort of community type thing anyway 11th house type shit aquarius so that's what's what what's the well, that's what the future is looking like or that's what it's holding for a big enlightened aware spirits so yeah this transformation that we're going through right now is meant to help you become more disciplined and more solidified within your own um self and how you could and how you could uh offer whatever you have to offer as a business to others and it don't got to be necessarily in the masonic design way of exchanging their monopoly printed money it just has it just means like what are you willing to offer to the world and then you know people will um now in this system there ain't nothing wrong with look now here's the thing the mon the monetary system concept itself it ain't entirely bad but there's still ways where we can evolve things to the point where it, it don't have to be as based on survival like it is right now in, in, in a re irrelevant, stupid, animalistic ways, right? Due to insecure leaders and shit. We could, if we had responsible use of technology, we could get rid of the whole business pillar, literally, or not completely get rid of it. It would just be... Um, it, it won't it won't be in balance to, the, to how it is now where it has too much power based based upon the Federal Reserve and them being able to control the the value and power of the shit they print out of thin air. We have to take that concept and transmute it in our own way to where we can have something to offer 10th house our own business and then it's being reciproca reciprocated with with other spirits that are doing the same thing. And in a more advanced, spiritually advanced world, we would just be doing that based off more higher octave natures that don't deal with lower animalistic natures of, oh, I got to survive and get by and I'm, I'm, I'm living and operating in root chakra shit. I have to, I have to, I have to probably, uh, 
go extra hard and trying to get clients and looking at people as numbers i have to manipulate people if i even have to manipulate people some people will like just to just to get a dollar or whatever and it puts and then since the the saturn system that the shadow government set for us is based on time and you having to meet certain quotas just so they can keep their whole organization organized uh system running and functioning it puts you on this hamster wheel anxious type of energy there's like always trying to be in survival mode trying to get by to pay the bills and shit we have to get rid of that shit so that way whatever we tr we do is truly out of our pure spiritual spiritual interests and it's not based on trying to survive and get as much of their monopoly printed paper as you possibly can and their material and all, all this shit that's outdated that's animalistic it's stupid because there's plenty of people out here that would that, that you could clearly see they have all these things all this masonic design success but they're still depressed still not fulfilled why because they're not spiritually inclined they don't know how to fulfill themselves and just be grateful for them just being type shit so the when as more humans wake up and tap into that state of being they're gonna see how useless and outdated and barbaric the current system is so this current sun conjunct pluto i know that was a bit of a tangent but it still relates because this sun conjunct pluto and capricorn um this is the final transformation of discipline to reserve energy better because you're going to do what you're going to do and what you want to do regardless what your spirit want you to do so if you're a big spirit and you don't really give a fuck about all the shit that humans give a fuck about guess what you, guess what you're going to have to care less now because if you if you oh if you give away your power or let the external pressure you in any type of way where you feel like oh man i gotta i gotta do more and and and, and in order for me to uh be looking like i'm improving in society according to their 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 masonic jewish and jesuit concepts of how they created the fucking matrix in the first place no you don't got to think like that no more you have to reserve energy now and have more discipline towards spiritual shit now and then that and fi figure out what it is that you do like to do that you could offer to the world that you can get in exchange for other things for yourself back as you do quote unquote 10th house business type shit ain't nothing wrong with that we just all have to be aware now that the intent has to change it has to be more based upon like uh, aquarius type shit now because we're moving into the age of aquarius so it's gonna be more for the collective it's gonna be more for the benefit of all you have to somehow some way conduct your business in a way where the intent is not just for you and your own selfish um material gain it has to be there has to be some form of that energy being recycled back into the collective whether you're spreading awareness that's a form of currency to get people paying attention to the more relevant things and not to their outdated system that keeps people animalistic you might have to offer a service probably invent something new that could that can make your service more affordable and at the same time more mass produced and all types of shit like really go to, like pretty much we're supposed to be organizing ourselves to be at competition and at war with what the current system is offering the the, the sheep and the bots and the people we have to give them better alternatives better systems better solutions but in order to do that we have to actually come together as a community now and or not even do we don't even have to necessarily do that we just have to associate well that would be nice if we can humans somehow some way but at least associate with like-minded individuals and like-minded spirits for st for the similar mission of trying to evolve and spread awareness and evolve the collective or at least go to or play their game and transmute whatever money you make off their game to go towards dis to go towards evolving the game itself the system itself that's some deep shit right there i hope some of y'all understand what i'm saying what i mean by that so throughout the age of aquarius you know your network your community the collective all this shit is transforming over time to the point where we're gonna have a new way new ways of we are gonna pretty much here, now here's another thing too because like i said in other uh, aquarius videos and shit like that on a low octave end 
we could become too stubborn and too fixated in our own mind in our own thought in our own frequency during the age of aquarius but if you're a high octave spirit you're gonna you're gonna stand firm on what you think is the best for the collective to evolve further and on some humanitarian aquarius type shit uh -uh. and you got to stay firm on that because people will try to debate you Pe people who are lost in politics will try to tell you oh this is idealism we can't do this when clearly they don't they don't even fucking know that they're being used and manipulated as a cog in a machine to play out a wage slave role that that they've been brainwashed to think is freedom not knowing that they they asked that whole job is outdated they complain about it every day but they're so dumb and, and brainwashed that they don't they don't want to look at alternatives such as utilizing technology responsibly to free all the wage slaves because humans are just barbaric and stupid and dumb like i told y'all the system caters to the lower animalistic natures so of course um people are going to want to defend the opportunity to get money and be better than the next person because they they've been programmed to think that's what makes them better so of course people are going to fight to keep that outdated system alive it ain't even if you just poor it could be a rich person who's very insecure and wants to stay at the top of their little i guess social financial pyramid or whatever or whatever the fuck and then you know they just want to continue to expand and grow their business for whatever reasons and that's fine but at the same time if you ain't gonna somehow some way redirect or tra or transmute some of that energy that you get in from the collective back into the growth of the collective then you ain't shit as a spirit and you're just a vampire leech draining all your customers or if you're the shadow government all your people that you're governing shit go deep so um now check it out on a, on a more spiritual tip this sun conjunct Pluto in Capricorn. Um, this is the final transformation of discipline to reserve your energy better for what you got to do. So high octave spirits will be able to focus better now. After today, you will realize a deep transformation in that. You'll be able to focus better now and, and you will be able to be more in tune into the moment now while also being more productive, more clairvoyant. And then you're going to also be able to limit and restrict outdated thoughts and feelings that you know don't serve you and then check it out like i told y'all earlier in this video it will feel worse than ever before if you go beyond your limits and you go beyond the threshold of the boundaries you set for yourself if you if you do slip up as a spirit and you and you and you're still being weak about shit and low and you're and you're still in your lower octave natures then you will fall back into these thoughts and feelings and it will be a hard a harsh time for you keyword harsh capricorn pluto all that shit it will be very it will be a harsh time for you it will feel worse than ever before and because you will know better too keyword pluto <coughs> going into the age of aquarius he's supposed to know better now aquarius holds the energy of i know right they, they know so you know better now so anytime you indulge in outdated thoughts and feelings or outdated habits and energies that you know you're not supposed to be doing it's gonna feel a lot worse now compared to previously before this sun conjunct pluto it's gonna feel a lot more worse now y'all so you're gonna feel it it's gonna be like imagine um a thermostat and if you go and if you go over 100 degrees that's the same this is an analogy y'all if you go over 100 degrees that's the same as you getting lost in your thoughts and feelings again and you're not evolving with the transits it's gonna feel really bad now but if you stay be b below that 100 degrees if you stay below the temperature you're gonna be you're gonna be cool you're gonna be straight you ain't gonna you're gonna you ain't gonna um be in hell you ain't you feel me you ain't gonna be in a hellistic state of being type shit if you know how to reserve your energy better because that's the, that's the key thing right now with this sun conjunct pluto and cap that the final transformation of discipline to reserve energy better the discipline would be you actually limiting these the anything that gets in the way of reserving your energy better sun conjunct pluto you got to put action into these things now so yeah it, it's gonna feel a, 10 times worse now moving forward especially when we move more deeper into aquarius because you, you know better now <clears throat> now it will be hard it will be hard for high octave spirits 
to fall back into bad habits if you actually been planting good seeds and shit. It you it will be easy and automatic for you to not get lost in outdated um energies if you've been keeping up with your growth. For the low octave spirits, y'all still gonna be struggling with all that shit. Good luck. Um, now it will also be hard for high octave spirits or big uh, spirits who are spiritually inclined and aware enough and being keeping up with their growths with their growth and the transits if you've been doing what you've been supposed to be doing um it will also be hard for you to fall back into unwanted thoughts and feelings like i said earlier and bad outdated habits so all it will be if you've been doing what you've been supposed to have been doing and you've been reserving yourself better especially throughout this capricorn season um, in 2024 then you should feel after this sun conjunct, sun conjunct Pluto passes by you should now have a whole new overall limitation or boundary or restriction of what you're willing to tolerate not only with anything external outside of yourself but also within with yourself what thoughts and feelings you're willing to tolerate and, and, and what um, energies you're willing to tolerate outside of you and you got to look at all these things and make sure that you're disciplined enough to reserve your energy throughout your lifetime to stay productive, to do what you got to do and stay balanced too. Not telling y'all to get lost in that workaholic energy and get lost in your power or get drunk off power like a, a low octave nature of Capricorn would. But take this transformation and, and utilize it to reserve your energy better. That's why I titled it, titled it like that. The final transformation of discipline to reserve energy better and you can do whatever you want with that whether you want to put yourself in a better state of being and not get flunked out in thoughts and feelings and put yourself in a chaotic frequency rabbit hole or a vibrational roller coaster you can now you reserve your energy better to be in a more clairvoyant more at peace space and then not only that because of that you will be focused enough to now focus on the things that you actually do want to do and you will be able to be more productive and not just slumped over lost in your own emotions and feelings or lost in your own head and your own mind and your own thoughts it's time to set boundaries with all these things because you know better now you know when you're doing these things it's obvious it's clear as day it's more intense now more than ever to feel that to feel the energy and be like oh shit I'm overthinking again or oh shit I'm oh, I'm getting lost in my emotions again it's, it's this sun conjunct Pluto and Capricorn is making the line being drawn clear and and it's and, and it's like clear as day like the the, the line has been drawn you clearly see it aka you can't go over that that threshold or that limitation or that restriction that you set for yourself you got to be disciplined now to not accidentally cross back into that outdated line turn your ass around and keep growing along with the transits as pluto go gets ready to go into the age of aquarius don't fall back into outdated thoughts and feelings and bad habits because you already know better you know it's okay to catch yourself and be like oh shit i'm doing it again but catch yourself forgive yourself and then move on and then the better the more discipline you build over time especially if you utilize today and this sun conjunct pluto and this and in these energies the, the more serious you take these things keyword serious capricorn type energy then the more disciplined you could be with these things and you will actually vibrationally go through a deep transformation pluto that will help you maintain discipline to reserve energy better moving forward so you can maintain equilibrium and not and not be lost in outdated energies that will get in the way of your internal peace and state of being and your productivity and that's pretty much all i had to say y'all this is the sun conjunct pluto and capricorn 2024 the final transformation of discipline to reserve energy better peace I don't know where the fuck you going all i know is why spirit Supposed to